Welcome back to ISE 2019 and unquestionably one of the stars of the show has been this. It's our showstopper. We've seen really big crowds around the Panasonic booth on the hour for our projection mapping show. Well, we didn't do it all by ourselves. I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Luke from uh, Painting with Light and also Hans from AV Stumpfel to fill us in with a few of the details. So, Luke, um, these showstoppers seem to be getting bigger and better every year. T talk us through about the, the concept for this year. Uh, the concept for this show is... Um we wanted to create like a projection canvas, so we developed the dome, which, was, which allows us to create an immersive projection surface, and we move around there with two performers, and they bring us to the different worlds of uh, where Panasonic as a live entertainment is active in, like theater and sports and concerts and TV shows, and they do some acts in there. And, and talk us through your creative process. How does that concept come about? Um, yeah, we first start indeed with, by developing a concept, so we create uh, and I, all the ideas, we do brainstorming and then we present the story to uh, Panasonic uh, and then when we agree on it, we start uh, developing it, we create the storyboards, we develop all the drawings, uh, design the, the dome we designed it and the stage and then uh, the storyboard is presented. Um, when they approve it, we start to the next phases where we start production. Uh, setting up the rehearsal, uh, making the video content, and uh, uh, in later phase when we go really rehearsed, we did a rehearsal setup where we, uh, with inflatable structure, it was very handy uh, because it was fast load in, fast load out, and, uh, and which made us to do it very efficiently. Sure. Yeah. And, and Hans, turning to you, the, the projection is powered by the new AV Stumpfel uh, server. Tell me a little bit about Pixera. Well, with Pixera, we were really thinking about, oh, we thought about, we have to go back to scratch. We have to take all the things that we learned about the media server business in the last decade, and we were thinking, why don't we take all the feedback and our own vision and create something that's radically different from all the other great solutions that are out there. And this is what the Pixera represents. It's seriously easy to use and intuitive. And I don't just mean this, I know intuitive is such a marketing buzzword. It's like everything is groundbreaking, it's intuitive, it's revolutionary. But we really feel that if you compare our general user interface to just about all the other competitors we know, obviously you can never know all of them, but then our feeling is that you will intuitively understand how it works. And you know, anything you do in a 2D or 3D space, it follows the same mechanisms. And the learning curve, I mean, we're really trying to keep it, to keep it smooth. So it's not like it's, it, it starts super difficult, but then you can do it all, or it's super easy, and then you're super frustrated. It has to be something where the actual project itself can be, well, can be center stage again. So at the end of the day, our vision is, if, you know, let's say you had a hard day at IC doing this, and once, you know, Luke goes, uh, you know, back to his hotel, and I, we want him to think about the beauty that he created, and you guys, the beauty that, that can be shown through your pro products. We don't want you to think of, oh, there are all those sub-menus, and then I click this and this. No, we, you know, we want, want to take the, the actual yeah. creative work to take that center stage, so there's a joy and you know, in, in actually doing this and realizing this. And I think that's why usability to us is the key theme. And I think in looking at ESIC in general, I think you can see a lot of stuff where people are realizing, okay, in theory we can do this and this and this and that, but now getting the pain out of doing it and getting the joy back in, that's what it's all about. Hans, thank you very much. Thank you guys for joining us on Panasonic Live at ISE. Don't forget, if you are coming down to the show, you can see this showstopper on the hour, every hour, on the Panasonic booth, Hall 1, Stand H20.